Hey guys, my name is Ryan, and we're back again with another Spirit Island video. If you see people asking for help with devouring teeth lurk underfoot online, the most common thing that you'll see is recommendation for the loop build. And I've seen it recommended a lot, but I've actually never really seen it explained. So that's what we're going to do today. What is the loop build? So the loop build is basically playing these two cards over and over again. You've got Herd Toward the Lurking Maw, which is a one cost, slow, one fear, and a gather. And you have Ferocious Rampage, two cost, slow, uh, one fear, and then do damage. So by playing these two cards every single turn, looping them, right? You just reclaim over and over and over, keep on playing these cards over and over and over. Uh, it's supposed to be the strongest two-card setup that Devouring Teeth can have. So if we have both these cards, obviously we need two-card plays. We'll take this Fire off the top track, and now we have enough elements to hit our Innate. And then we'll probably have to hit three energy, since this totally costs three energy as well. After we hit this point, we then grow bottom bottom again. This will give us access to the next tier of our innate, being able to do extra damage. And then from here, we are now six turns into the game. Usually, games last about seven turns, so there's not much more time left. And we can decide whether we want to go for that third card play to play Furious Might, or we could pick up that extra energy uh, and then work our way towards Mark Territory. But either direction that we go, uh, usually by the time we get to this decision point, uh, the game should be largely over. So, we're going to do a demonstration of that build today. Today, we will be playing against Prussia 5. And we got board B. So we start in land number 5, and we get the jungles. All right. So to play both of these cards on turn one, we do need to take our third growth option to give us three energy. Play Rampage and Herd. We have no fast actions. Oh, sorry, I should probably place my presence. Uh, we're going to place our presence all the way. Um, let's see, we're going to go out here with the plan on, let's see, I could either go to the sands or to this wetlands with the plan of gathering in the town and then killing two towns. Uh, generally against Prussia, the coast is more important. So I'm going to go here. We could also do the thing where we just let this ravage and it'll just deal with itself. So we're actually going to grow over here with the plan on gathering the town out and then killing both towns in the slow phase. So we skip the first event. We'll go build, build, and hope to dodge sands. We got lucky. So we got... Uh, jungles and mountains and right away we have to make a modification to this build because if we were just gather this town out we'll still get a blight cascade so we're going to use our gather here on this land number seven um, so we'll get a fear and gather this way we will use our innate to move our presence in we're going this way instead of this way to maximize our adjacencies we get a fear and then we do four damage there we go. We're off to the next phase. We're going to reclaim both of our cards, growing off of the top track, gain energy, and play the same two cards again. Okay, we have no fast powers. We have our event. We get to build in a land with a city. Okay, so we lose that disease. And then from a land with beast, we push explorers or a town. So that'll push this explorer and we'll send him up here. Okay, we gather a Dahan into a land with Dahan. And in that land, defend one per Dahan. Got saved by the belt. We get our defend three right here in this land. And now we're all set up for the ravage. So that'll clear all of this. And all of a sudden, that's our only build. And we'll explore the mountains. Going here and here. And we have to add a town to a land without a town. So I'm going to put it in this coastal wetlands. Going into the slow phase. Uh, we are going to use herd for a fear. And gather this guy out again. 
And now we have a decision to make. How do we want to play this? I'm inclined to just let this blight and then we'll get after it next turn. Um, if we were to move our presence up here and then kill this town, um, actually, maybe we should undo that fear and gather. Perhaps we can do this better. Maybe we come up here, do two damage, gather the explorer, and then do four damage. Now we have a nicely isolated backside. That could be one option. Another option is first to come in and go here, and then we'll just grow right back into this land, but that city is going to be really sticky and hard for us to deal with. Another option is to gather. Any other way, I think we go this way. So innate, fear, gather, fear, two damage, and then we hope we actively want the jungles or the mountains to explore. Really the jungles, because we have the Prush Escalation, which will, no matter what, pop this bubble. So jungles will be our best explore next turn. Okay. I'm going to reclaim, gaining our energy. Hopefully we can just focus down the coast now. Play our same two cards. And go to the event. After first successful build action, we get an explorer. Okay, we get a beast push, which does nothing. Two fear, which does nothing. And we remove an explorer from the Han land, which also does nothing. So we'll take a blight here. Take a build here, which adds an explorer per the event. Then we explore the sands. I think we'll just put our town right here. Keep things nice and small. And so, I think we could innate in to kill a town, gather this town in, and then kill both towns. That'll give us plenty of fear. So we'll go here, killing a town, fear, gather, four damage with a fear. We got two fear cards going to the next turn. Okay, reclaim, adding a presence. Gain energy, playing our cards. This is the one turn that we really don't gain any marginal value turn over turn. This extra animal element really does nothing for us. No fast powers. Event. Push an explorer to an adjacent land without invaders if there's two explorers and there is no qualifying land. Beast. Push to an adjacent land without blight and deal a damage. Okay. Finally, we don't get the beast push when we really want it. And then Dahan defend. It does nothing for us. Terra level 1, push up to one explorer or town from a land not matching a build card. Hmm. I'm inclined to just go this way. I don't think there's any way of this land getting defended, so we'll just kind of compress the board. And then we skip the low numbered build, which would be the sands. Excellent. So we'll ravage, so we'll blight, we'll cascade. Flipping the card, losing a presence. And we get a town city and a land that has none. So we'll go right here in the jungles. Building the sands. And exploring the wetlands. Here, here, and then we'll add a town. This one damage is going to be really nice for us. Because we can then herd to fear, gather, and then fear and do four damage. Then we have our innate. We get to push a presence and deal two damage. We're sitting pretty everywhere here. I'm inclined to just pick up this town when we have the chance. Killing this explorer will not protect the jungles from exploring because of this town. So the whole pocket considerations don't really matter. And we could, of course, always gather and then kill two towns next turn. So I think we'll just take the opportunity to kill this town. Awesome. Here we are going into turn six. Now we're going to be able to start killing cities. 
thanks to this additional fire. And from this position, you kind of just have to put your head down and <laughs> hope to get through this little portion. Thankfully, we didn't get a coastal land. That would be pretty tough for us. Um, but now we can start picking off these cities, and we can be a lot smarter with uh, how we're going to play this game. And if there are four more lands with town, one, two, so we do not qualify. Add a disease to a coastal land with the most buildings. Excellent. And then push a presence from a land with Dahan. We do not have any. That's very unfortunate. Free damage is always nice. Skip the next explore, and then the turn after, draw two cards. Fantastic. Ravage, build, and then don't explore. So we can go fear, gather, fear, four damage. And then we have our four damage innate, which... I am going to want to use uh, probably here land number four, um, looking to fight back. Uh, if we get really lucky, I mean like really lucky, uh, we can avoid exploring into this mountains and then we can pocket out for the rest of the game. Okay, so now we have the decision to go for Gift of Furious Might or Mark Territory. Um, I'm thinking because we have the skip on the build, we can go for Mark Territory here, which would require us to take the extra energy off of the four. So we're going to do this. Pay for that. So that way now um, we will be able next turn to hit the third card play to hit this Mark Territory. We have no fast actions. Go to the event, remove a Blight per player from the Blight card, returning it to the box. We have plenty on the card. Isolate them with Beast, and a fear if invaders are present. And then in a board with five or more Dahan, we do add a Dahan to land with the most Dahan. Quite useful for us. Two fear cards. We've got free defense, which we do not need. And we have an Isolate. Uh, fantastic. We want to isolate this, which will do the job of pocketing out our backside. So there's only going to be two lands that can possibly explore going into this next turn, which is wonderful. Ravage, no build. Explore number one. And explore number two. Great. I feel like from this position, it's pretty hard to lose. But if there's one thing I'm great at. It's losing from a winning <laughs> from a winning position. <laughs> but while we do, we just gather this guy out. Fear, four damage, and then we get to kill this city. And there we go. Terra level two victory against Prussia on turn six. So that's the reclaim loop build. Um, now that you've seen it, uh, you can see that it has plenty of strengths. It is very consistent. It does a very good, reliable thing every single game. You're going to have a very low floor, but at the same time, you're also going to have a bit of a ceiling since it did take us so long to be able to deal with the city. If we were to get that coastal land to come up or we were to get back to back with these mountains over and over again, the game can become very challenging. But if you keep on seeing people talk about the loot build, that's how it works. Cheers!